I bought an iPad for many reasons. Video and photography apps, browsing the internet, using it as an FAQ reader for different games, but mostly for gaming. I play a lot of games on my iPad because it is very easy to use, and the games are often quite cheap, and there is something for everyone. One of my favourite genres is rhythm action. You know, music games, to put it bluntly. I like games where you press stuff, and music happens. Or games that challenge you to keep the beat. Or games where you are required to dance to a piece of music or follow choreography. So I've gathered a list of games on iPad that music lovers should consider. Games that play really well on iPad, look great, and feature amazing music. For each game, I shall label the price at the current time of recording, and all iTunes download links for the US and UK store, where applicable, shall be available in the description. First up, Duke Beat. Duke Beat is a rhythm action game developed by Konami. It is available on iOS devices and is free, as the game is supported by downloadable content which costs money. The game itself is simple, but in no way is it easy. The goal is to tap squares which light up in time with the music, but depending on the song and difficulty level this can be a real nightmare. Sometimes you have to tap a lot of squares in quick succession, and sometimes you have to tap a lot of squares at once. The blocks above the play area show you how many squares are coming up, but it's not very useful as your eyes are fixed on the gameplay area all of the time. Currently, there are 33 downloadable packs, each contain 4 songs, each pack costs $4, roughly £2.50. This, I believe, is very expensive. It would cost you nearly £90 to purchase every piece of downloadable content so far. There are currently 135 songs available, 132 of them are DLC, and 3 come pre-installed for free. Most of the music selection is poor. It is mostly music that appeared in the arcade version of the game, or music from recent Konami games. If you play rhythm action games, and are made of money, you should consider Duke Beat. But if you are unfamiliar with the genre, I suggest you stay away. The difficulty level is high, and the price of content is extortionate. Next we've got Tone Sphere. This game is pretty recent, released earlier this year. It is pretty amazing and has at least 20 songs for you to unlock. It has an amazing art style likely inspired by Child of Eden, and the music selection is pretty nifty, there's even some dubstep in there. It is mostly Japanese, but it is all pretty incredible. If you don't like the music because you don't understand the lyrics, then you're really missing out. In this music game, you have to tap these circles that appear. Some of them have to be held down, some you need to slide. The silver looking ones give you extra points. The game can be confusing at times, the way the camera moves during songs, but I feel that makes the game notably different from 90% of rhythm games. It is like you're inside this giant sphere that the game is based around. The songs can get quite difficult in hard mode, but if you're determined then I'm sure you'll be able to eventually master them. The only downside is that there is no trial version available at this time, but looking at this footage or any other videos available will tell you more than enough about the game and whether or not you should buy it. I recommend this one to all rhythm action fans, although I felt the timing window may be too forgiving at times. Then again, I'm recording through a setup with audio lag, so I can't judge. Next up, we have Boom 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 Rhythm Tap. This is a Korean music game that uses a token system for playing songs. The more tokens you buy, the more songs you can play. I am against this system as it detracts from an otherwise pretty good game. All of the music in this game is Korean. 
but I get the feeling these artists are fairly famous in their homeland, as the album artwork looks really professional and everything. In this game, you have to tap circles as they appear. Don't worry, that sentence appears a few more times in this video, it isn't an editing snafu. Yes, press the circles as they appear, nothing special here. The graphics are basic, but there's a charm to it. The song selection is pretty good too, although it is all Korean pop music besides a few songs created especially for the game. I dislike the token system, it is fairly overpriced and there isn't any value for your money. This system is in place to be able to justify the game being released for free. Like I said, this token system detracts from an otherwise pretty good game. Next up is Osu Stream. This game is based off and created by the person who developed the PC Osu Tatake Oendan clone, Osu. It has a few built-in bundled songs, a few free downloadable songs, and a number of paid downloadable songs. You can preview the gameplay charts of the downloadable songs, which is nice. You have to tap circles as they appear. See? Common, isn't it? There are also circles you have to hold in place, new to Osu, and some that you need to drag along a certain path. There are also circles that have to be pressed at the same time. The game is designed for two fingers and you have much better precision and space on an iPad with which to hit the circles. This makes the game more forgiving. The difficulty level is good, it ranges from easy to hard, with a system where the game gets harder the better you're doing. If you get an A rank on a song in that mode, you unlock the expert mode which isn't for the faint of heart. I have only ever beaten one song in expert mode, it isn't an easy feat. The game has very bland visuals, almost as if it isn't even trying to look good. The boom boom dance with its janky dancer and cardboard dance routines looks better than a bunch of circles on a blank background, and Tone Sphere had the decency to play around with camera angles and background effects. But really, all that stuff can sometimes get in the way, and Osu doesn't need this because it is trying to be a really streamlined and professional product. While it could use some sparkle, it doesn't really need it, so I guess that complaint takes us nowhere. Overall, I do recommend that you check this one out. It is free and is supported by downloadable content, but there are free downloads too, such as Jonathan Colton's Once You Gone. Did you think I meant you? This is Crazy Rain 2. This rhythm game is another Korean game, complete with sign-up and sign-in functions. It uses digital tokens, again, but has a number of songs that can be played for free. The major downside to this game is that the songs change regularly. You think that sounds like a good thing? Well, Cherry Filter are my favourite Korean rock band, but their song Orange Road was only available for around a fortnight. Not only was the chart a lot of fun to play, but the song was awesome too. There's actually a more major downside than the one I just said. This game is loading bar central. But it seems to take forever, even for me. How much can it be downloading, really? It seems ludicrous that it takes three minutes to start a song after you've picked it. That really is the biggest fault. Besides that, the game is good, but it is riddled by slow server speeds. Check it out and see if you have the same problem, but if you do, I have warned you. All you need to do is tap the little piano keys as the notes come towards you. As you do well, you can turn crazy for extra points. You can turn crazy three times at once, and go from a two times to a four times to an eight times multiplier. Each time you do, you lose health or whatever that stuff is up there, and if you lose it all, you fail out, so make sure you can hit what's about to come up. Like I said, great game, but held back by some really bullshit server speeds. Be sure to check these out if you're an iPad owner.
That's all I've got time for today. I'd like to thank you for watching this video because it means a lot to me. Also, if you're interested in possible reviews and Let's Play videos of iPad games, let me know. Until next time, if we live that long.